Hey, Pascal, how you doing? What's up, George? Good, man. Not much, man. Um, obviously, there are a lot of reasons why this camp is different from a regular camp outside of basketball. But in terms of basketball, how your practices are structured, where everybody's conditioning is at a week in, do you notice a lot of differences from where you would be in a, in a normal training camp, or, or is it sort of similar in that way? I mean, sort of similar in a way that, you know, we're all walking through um, the same goal. Um, everyone just, I think people was, was getting ready before we got here. So um, everyone's excited, obviously. Probably not at the, the way you want to be, but I think, you know, it's important that we all here and everyone is just willing to just go out there every single day and play hard and compete at a high level. And, um, you know, we're just going to get it back as, as we go. Thanks, man. Next, we're going to go to Doug Smith from the Toronto Star. Pascal, how are you, sir? Thanks for stopping by. No problem. I'm good, man. Good. I don't know how many teams have both their presidents and general managers with them inside the enclave and in the bubble. What does it mean to you guys to have both Bobby and Masai there and their, their sort of support by living the lives you guys are living that are so weird? I mean, it just shows commitment. And, and, and obviously, you know, having them there is, is, is um, kind of like what we're used to. And, um, you know, it feels good to have them. And obviously, we have people that um, once something is going, it's not going like we want to, you know, we can turn to and, and you know, they, they're there to make sure that everything is fine. And, um, you know, so, yeah, it's just definitely good to have them. What, what kind of things would you maybe bounce off them that, that you might want, not fixed, but just made them made aware of? Anything, to be honest. Anything. I don't know. I have nothing specific, but anything. <laughs> All right, thanks, Pascal. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, the NBA is doing a great job trying to make this work. And, um, I mean, obviously it's not perfect, but, um, you know, anything that we feel like can improve or whatever, you know, we have, we have those guys around and, um, and, and it's, it's always good to have that. Great. Thank you, Pascal. Appreciate it. Going to go next to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Hi, Pascal. Um, during the hiatus, were you one of the guys who watched a lot of film and, and, and just in terms of uh, specifically playmaking, did you pick some things up that you think you'll be able to apply, uh, apply when, when games start again? And uh, just that side of your skills, uh, do you feel like you can grow there a little bit? I mean, obviously, I always, I always feel like I, I've always been a winning passer. And um, I just feel like, you know, like just maybe in situations, making better reads and um, understand that you're going to get the attention, you know, know how to get aggressive and, and know how to defer. So I think it's something that I'm learning and, and uh, I'm going to continue to get better at. So it's, it's, it's an exciting, you know, uh, time just, you know, working every day, trying to improve and, and seeing things that, you know, defense would throw at me and, and um, I just, you know, uh, based on that. Did you ever, uh, do you ever study a guy like LeBron, for example? I mean, I just have an image of him. You know he'll he'll hold the ball and wait for the you know wait for the, the the defense to have to clear the key. I mean he just seems to always know what the next coverage is coming. I mean do you ever is there guys in the league you study and go okay I can I can incorporate some of those things or I, I see what he's doing now that maybe you didn't appreciate before. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for the input, Mike. I'm, I'm, I might go ahead and do that now. <laughs> the uh, but do you have a role model in terms of? Uh, you know, the really elite wings and, and how they, they uh, handle all the responsibilities? I think I watch everyone, man. I watch from point guards to, to fives, like, because, you know, I play on the post, too. So, like, I think my game is just so, divert, like, it's, like, versatile that, you know, I think everyone, I can learn from anybody. So, I try to learn as much from anybody that I can. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pascal. Thanks, Pascal. Next, we're going to go to Mike Ganter from the Toronto Sun. Pascal, how you doing? Good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Um, yeah, we talked earlier, quite a bit earlier, actually, about coming out of the, the hiatus and how you were, you know, you couldn't really do what you would normally be doing or anything close to what you would normally be doing. Do you feel like you're caught up now? And if, and if you are caught up, how did you go about speeding up that process? Because it was pretty quick. If you had to sort of get back from, you know, where you were. Oh. Sorry, I, I accidentally unmuted or muted him. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Back? My bad. Uh, how much of that question did you get, Pascal? How much? Okay. <laughs> when you sorry, man. When you uh, when you came out of uh, when you came out of the hiatus, you talked about you know 
that was the longest time that you've been away from basketball. And obviously your conditioning can't be what it was. Are you all the way, like, do you feel like you're all the way back now? And if you are all the way back, how did you hurry that process up? Because it had to come pretty quick, right? Yeah, I think, I mean, for me, like, I, I, to be honest right now, I'm not worried about, you know, being at like a hundred percent or like feeling like I'm all the way there. I think it's going to be a process. And um, I think, the goal for us as a team, not just me, um, is to just pick at the right time. And I think, you know, my, my, that's what I'm focused on and, and continue to work gradually towards being the best or playing my best basketball when, when it matters the most. So, um, you know, it's going to be a process and, and, and um, we, we're just learning every day, getting better. Was there ever a point where it, was, it felt like you had to hurry things up and then you got to talk yourself into like, look, I got some time here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as a player, you always want to be at your best when, when you're out there competing. But um, I think, obviously, you understand the, situ the, the, the situation, the circumstances, and um, you just work work with it. And um, I think that's something that I'm learning, and I'm learning from all the other guys around, from Fred, Mark, uh, Kyle, all those guys, just getting advice from them and um, continue to get better. Got it. Thanks, Pascal. Mm -hmm. And last question for today is going to go to Mike from L'Express in Toronto, in French. Euh, bonjour Pascal, euh, ma question est un peu similaire à celle en anglais juste avant. Je voulais juste savoir comment tu te sentais actuellement maintenant que vous avez eu des entraînements dans les jambes et pour toi, qu'est-ce que tu dois encore améliorer maintenant pour revenir à ton meilleur niveau euh, Je pense que pour nous, ce qu'on essaye de faire, c'est de continuer à, à, à travailler dur. Bien sûr, on ne sera pas à 100% pour le moment, mais l'essentiel, c'est d'être à 100% quand ça compte. Donc, euh, c'est ça l'objectif, et continuer à travailler dur. Je continue à travailler sur tout mon jeu, euh, conditioning et, et, et tout ce que je peux faire pour être le meilleur euh, quand, quand le playoff arrive. Parfait, merci Pascal.